warning and saying, look, you never know when these things come, so <laughs> you got to take them when you can take them. Game tied at 12. Johnson posting up Oakley. Here's the entry pass. Quick spin. The reverse won't go, but a foul. What a quick move by the big man, Larry Johnson. Oakley picks up his second personal foul, and you can see that Johnson has more to say to him right now. This has been a war of words that has been going on since game one. Herb Williams on to guard Alonzo Mourning with Ewing exiting the game. That'll be goaltending. Credit the basket to Larry Johnson. Herb Williams in his 12th year out of Ohio State. Larry Johnson has the quickness and the ball handling ability to get by, and they're hoping that Herb Williams will be able to make some saves. That time it was a goal 10. Here's by two. If you're going to control Anthony, that's where you're going to do it, outside, in. Bennett with great penetration to find Johnson open for the easy one. Morning fought real hard to get control of that ball, but made a mistake in trying to get it to Larry Johnson. First double-digit lead of the game. Charles Smith of New York committing his second foul. Oakley and Johnson join underneath the hoop. We'll see who gets the better of this. Right now, it's the Knicks on the scoreboard, and Johnson is struggling to find the game he had in game three, which was so dynamic. 31 points on the double overtime day. He only has five points so far in this one. Good fake. Johnson draws the foul. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> what did he say yesterday? He told us, he said, I may be only 24, but I got a lot of tricks. Here's one of them. Good deep post position. This time he gets a free throw to go in. 115 and counting first half from Charlotte. Johnson backs in Oakley. Fall away jumper. Larry Johnson talking and playing and having fun gets the good roll on this and out of that see he got to come up and say something to Oakley before <laughs> he's got so much energy he's jumping up and down and then oh oh that was just one I got many more to come to talk the whole time down sometimes he forgets he's got to run back the other end and defend all his life at every level he's been told he was too small to play here he is in the NBA playoffs Mike Zebo pushing the ball and Larry Johnson finishing the play has them on their feet so in two minutes they come from double figures down to single, to single and there's 531 to go in the quarter momentum swinging toward the Hornets. Inside to Johnson over Mason that'll be a goal 10 I don't think it was going to go in bad move by Ewing plus a foul on Mason of New York. They are looking for some divine intervention and maybe it's going to come uh, after this goal 10 by Patrick Ewing, but they have struggled to find a way to get an inside game going consistently against the Knicks this afternoon. Three-point play by Larry Johnson. That's his 16th point. Bad pass by Bennett, or by Anthony, excuse me. Bennett picked it off. Wingate missed the layup. Johnson on the follow. Pick and roll. Ewing screening for Rivers. Instead around the horn as Ewing posts up on Morning. Bad pass. Gill has Curry. Followed by Johnson. The game's tied.
inside two minutes. So they come back to Larry Johnson, and Johnson has an isolation. Against Mason, Ewing comes to help and leaves Bogues open for the shot. The lead is two. Ewing chases it down, misses in close, rebounded by Curry. Again, Charlotte with a chance to tie, 40 seconds left. Ewing and Morning having a war inside. Larry Johnson trying to go one-on-one. -on -one. Spins, turns, fires, yes! Larry Johnson had the same shot to win it in game three, ties it this afternoon. Three point nine seconds left. If you're Pat Riley, you do not want to foul. You want them to make him shoot this shot. They gotta make it to tie, so they gotta beat you with a shot or win the game. Both lost it. Point two left as Ewing picks up the loose ball and New York will go back to Madison Square Garden with a 3-1 lead.